Hey my people, we are back again. Welcome back to Shirako Media and of course to hapa na Sawa Media na CTT Media. Inaitwa CTT. Yeah, so guys, na leo bado tuko hapa na huyu jamaa anaitwa NRM. Ama utajintroduce tena. Oh yeah, kwa majina naitwa Chris Maliongovi aka NRM. Uh, mwanarakati na member sugu wa UDA. Kenya Kwanza Alliance, yes. So of course watu wengi wamekujua sana na, na umetetea Ruto sana hata kando na uchaguzi umefaitia Ruto kila mahali mkutandaoni nini nilifanya kuanza kufaitia Ruto hivi uh, no Ruto niliangalia mambo yake yale anasimamia ya bottom up yani ndio tulikuwa nayo kule unajua tulikuwa tunaenda Canaan tukafika kwa pyramids tukiwa tuko Egypt eh, baba akasema ameenda kuchukua 10 commandments eh swali so, tuacha hapo lakini ndio ruta katupata kama tumekwama akasema hapana ajenda kuchukua 10 commandments anakula na fero anakula na farao ruta katuchukua kutoka hapo sasa tukienda promised land so yale mambo Raila alikuwa anasimamia kitambo ndio yenye sasa hizi William Samuel Ruto anatusimamia maislahi ya mwananchi wa kawaida bottom up hiyo ndio ilikuwa mambo ya ya Raila Amolo Odinga na sasa hizi sasa ndio yale a William Samoe Ruto kipenzi cha wengeti ya masala wale ya mapasta pure private bag vs goy asali ya uh, asali ya wa Kenya hayo ndio amesimamia sasa hivi that is why nilianza ku, kufuatilia kwa karibu sana uh, William Samoe Ruto yes so na utapata kuwa after uchaguzi watu wanasema kuwa Ruto ana travel sana mara ako nje ako Tanzania ako Ethiopia ako Sudan badala akae chini afanye kazi huyu unaweza sema je kuhusu safari safari ni za lazima hata angekuwa nani angeingia kuwa president safari angezifanya lakini hatafanya safari nyingi sana kama zile za uhuru unajua uhuru within just uh, within uh, two years alikuwa ame travel kushinda kibaki na moi combined alikuwa ame move all over na ukiulizwa ameenda kutafuta nini anasema anashughulikia maslahi ya wa Kenya lakini wale maslahi nilianza kuona ni maslahi yake ya kibinafsi kwa sababu niliona beni la nchi linazidi kupanda na akasema he'll continue borrowing na William Samoei Ruto unajua kuna madeni yamefichwa nchi nyingi sana Uh, sorry ma pesa zilizoibwa zile za, ma za madeni zimefichwa kwa nchi nyingi sana. So you must go following up ujue hii pesa iko wapi. And then kuna nchi zingine ambazo ni marafiki wa Kenya wa karibu. Jambo la kwanza ambalo wa Kenya wengi lazima wajue ni kwamba kuna East African Federation inakuja. It will be pro most probably under one government. Among the people wenye wanapigia upato sana kuwa president wa hiyo kitu ni probably Yoweri Museveni. And then uh, William Ruto will be in this game And so that is why unamuona ametoka Kampala mara moja ameenda Tanzania ametoka ali, alienda Ethiopia kwanza na unajua Ethiopia ni kama meka ya meka ya Afrika hakuna president aendangi Ethiopia that is why hata huko ndio penye AU headquarters iko kitambo ilikuanga OAU alafu ikabadilika ikakuwa AU so ra, 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 safari ni za lazima ile ya Uganda ni kwa sababu Uganda ndio soko kubwa sana za bidhaa ya kutoka Kenya it is Kenya's largest foreign market And then uh, Tanzania is very important because of bilateral trade yenye kwa pale. In uh, it, it, it runs into dollars, into billions of dollars. Ukiweka pamoja. Tanzania ina pia ina, ina madini, Tanzania ina mambo mengi tu. Tanzania ina gas ambayo lazima ianze kuletwa Kenya. Na unajua eh, kwa mfumo unaoenda kuja ambao unafaa ukue kama ule wa Europe ni kwamba wakileta gas ukileta plamba anakuja kuweka pipe za maji inafaa pia akuwa ameweka pipe ya gas gas inafaa ingie kwa nyumba sio mitungi tena that is why uliona kuna watu waliingia baridi sana kwa sababu anauza mitungi ya gas e, mitungi ya gas sasa most probably itapigwa marufuku ni pipe pipe inaingizwa kutoka kwa reservoir ya gas the way it happens in europe kama ile imetoka non stream gas imetoka russia inakuja straight na teremka inakuja mpaka Uh, kwa nchi za Europe Germany among them uh, Germany France hizo nchi zote no, uh, Austria zote zinatumia so gas ikiingia inafaa ingie kwa nyumba za watu and that is why uliona uh, president William Samoei Ruto akienda Tanzania na akachapa deals kubwa tu mindi ilifai kutoke kule wana rutuba nzuri uh, na mambo mengi tu and then uh, kuna uhusiano ambao ulikuwa ume, umefifia fifia unakumbuka hata wakati wa comrade Magufuli walizuia vifaranga vyetu havikuingia kule kuna vifaranga vilichomwa kuna vifaranga vilichomwa na unajua Tanzania e, wa Tanzania hawapendi mchezo mchezo wakipumbavu pumbavu 
e, watakushughulikia kwa mujibu wa kanuni zilizowekwa au wapendi utapeli utapeli usio na maana sasa wakati ule walikataa utapeli wetu lakini sasa mtu ambaye amenda pale kurekebisha uhusiano kati yetu na Tanzania uh, ni kipenzi cha wengi president uh, William Samoe Ruto yes no kabla tujaingilia msaveni utapata kwa bwana deputy deputy president Gadi Gashago ametoka ametoka nchini leo hmm. na nimeona pia watu watu wa comment pale kwa, kwa mtandao na, na kwa magazine wakisema kuwa bwana Ruto amemwambukiza hiyo hiyo kutoka toka nje so huu nitasema about hiyo kwanza ujue jambo la maana ya muhimu la kwanza ni kwamba Rigathi Gashago anatoka mlimani the peak the mount and from the mountain you see everywhere yeah? yes watu watoke yangi tu anatoka kwa mlima anatoka kwa mlima it should be known that na from mlima analeta mwangaza Kenya mzima so ukienda nyeri uta realize kwamba hata hapo ndio penye tuna hiyo inaitwaje hiyo hiyo hotel the best hotel hapo inaitwa uh, tree tops penye queen alitoka i'm trying to tell you that hiyo region anatoka ndio penye kuna international community sana ukienda nyeri town utajua kile nakwambia tourism sasa ile wataanza kuboresha tourism unajua uhuru aliuaua vitu nyingi sana alikuwa anajenga anajijenga yeye mwenyewe kibinafsi wasa ile wataanza kufungua biashara za mkikuyu central mtapata hata waluya wote wamehamia huko kazi kutafuta makabila central it is a sleeping giant tourism ikianza ku take off by the way it will rival the coast freely freely bila ati yo nini wakifaa tu advertisements because everyone wants to see that mountain so regarde must go out there and look for business and unajua william ruto sio muoga ile serikali nyingine deputy president angetembea ukijaribu kutembea kidogo wanakuzuilia hapa wilson ukijaribu kutembea kidogo wanakuambia tusijui unaenda uganda kupeleka sijui pesa ama nini william ruto ameachia regarde gashagwa fanya vile unataka Sima namuona hata yule Rigathi anaongea kwa uhuru hata nimemuona ameanza kunona tu a few days amekuwa in power nimemuona hata afya yake imebadilika ya Rigathi Gashagwa imebadilika ya Ruto saida aliingia akakonda kuna mtu mmoja tu alikuwa amenona kama kupe <laughs> kuna mtu mmoja alikuwa amenona lakini wengine walianza kukonda so but right, right you can see Rigathi Gashagwa is a very is a very happy and, and i want him to make more trips ajue dunia kwa sababu it's very important no, you should not fear your fellow Kenyans unamruhusu wewe aende afanye shughuli zake wewe naye pia aende afanye shughuli zake and that is how the country should be running yes so to grab kama seven if last two weeks kijana m7 first bwana alisema kwa Nairobi anamulika within two weeks baadaye m7 akakuja ka apologize labda wewe maoni yako ni gani kuhusu hilo m7 sijui kwa nini m7 ameingiza baridi sana Kenya na Uganda ni kama matiti mbili ya mwili mmoja Mtoto akimaliza kunyonya hii ananyonya hii. Nimekwambia ndio largest market foreign market ya Kenya. However, lazima tujiulize maswali mengi. We need to ask ourselves so many questions in terms of matters of uh, defense, security, intelligence. Are we paying our intelligence officers? Are we paying our security officers? Are we paying our defense officers? You know, and, and service men and so on. Wakitoka hapo wanaenda wapi? We need to look at their salaries and so on. Unajua mtu akikuvamia na maanisha kwamba your defenses are weak. So kuna kitu labda alikuwa anajua kwa sababu mimi ndio ile make your statement pia America ikasema imetoa travel advisory to its citizens. Na Uganda inatisha kwa sababu wamevamia nchi zingine si ati ni mchezo wamevamia Somalia wakaenda Mogadishu sasa hizi wako Montepuez in Cabo Delgado province. Wako Montepuez na huko wajaenda kwaya hawajaenda kuomba walienda huko na mitutu ya bunduki. Moto kali kama pasi wakatoka hapo wakakuwa South Sudan wakapeleka comrade Riyak Mashar mpaka Bentu kwao wakaokoa serikali ya comrade Salva Kiir hawajatoka hapo wa Kongo Central Africa Republic hakuna mahali wajakanyaga na wakienda huko waendangi kuja kuomba hawakujangi maombi o oh, kuja sijui nini a ah, ah, wanakujanga na moto kali kama pasi so ni watu wanaogopwa wana, kila mahali wanaendanga ni damu wanawacha wanaacha damu wanaacha damu traces of blood behind so that is why hiyo maswala ya uh, muhuzi kainerugaba ileta issues and sisi wengi pia tuna tuna wasiwasi so they should arm our air force air force haifai kwenda tumia f5 for god's sake hiyo ni ndege ilikuwa decommissioned 
tambo ina, inanyunyuzia mashamba maji Amerika. Ilipigana vita ya Korea. F5 yenye napitanga hapa juu naona wakati wa celebrations atuko imara angani. Ati hiyo ni ndege aina F5 iko chini ya captain sijui nani, ati sijui akikuwa na chini ya sijui ndio hiyo. Alafu inapita juu. Wenzenu Marekani wanatumia F35 Lightning. F35 Lightning. Utaiona hawezi hawezi tangaziwa ati wao sasa ndio huyu anapita ati huyu ndio hata utaiona F35 sasa hizi mko kwa F5 Uganda naye kwa sababu alijua mko kwa F5 akaamua akanunua Sukhoi ya Russia so that he can anaweza kuwa jibu la la F5 So ukimsikia anakuambia 5 days anaweza kuja 2 weeks kuna vitu anakuwa pima pima However our army is okay is very professional we, we we like their discipline by the way if there is an army that is very disciplined in Africa is the Kenya Defence Forces. They are very disciplined. Very disciplined for your information. But let us look at their welfare so that they can defend us better. Otherwise, atuwezi kwa tunalipa ushuru and we are not safe in our houses. Kwamba tunezavamiwa hapa in two weeks. You can imagine hapa penye tuko hapa hivi. Atunaambiwa within two weeks. Atumanauma anakuja na nguo za green na boots. Anakuambia tokeni hapa. Kila muta ende nyumbani. Wewe uneza ende nyumbani? Yes. So dokuru kwa Museveni bado unasema kwa Museveni kuna kuna ile cheo wanataka ya sijui president wa wapi wapi. Mbona unaona unaona kwa Museveni ndiye anaweza hiyo cheo na na sio William Ruto huyo president wetu. No president William Ruto when watatengeneza hiyo East African Federation. The senior most politician ndiye atap most likely ataichukua. Mnakumbuka sasa ile tulikuwa tunaleta Kibaki 202. Wakati tulikuwa tunaleta Kibaki 202, watu wote walimuondokea wakiwa pale Hilton kila mtu alimuondokea akasema tu ni kibaki because he was the senior most na pia time magazine ilikuwa imeangazia 1974 there about kwamba kibaki one day will become a president in the same way we are saying one day uh, yoweri kaguta m7 most probably because yende amepigania mambo ya african unity sana after gaddafi I think yeye amepigania sana matters ya hii na anajua there is no party yenye ajui hapa East Africa anajua paka kwenu na anajua lugha yenu and unajua comrade nye Mandela ndiye alisema if you speak to a man in english you speak to his head but when you speak to a man in his mother tongue you speak to his heart so m7 can speak to your heart na anajua hii mambo sana anajua mambo ya anajua nchi gani na uchumi pia hapo kanchi alikapata kalikuwa ni ovyo hapo kwa na kitu pale but amekajenga paka unapata wa, dunia inaenda pale presidents wa america wameenda pale wangapi Queen amekuja paka pale akafanya mkutano wa choga ambao hujafanyika kwa hizi nchi zetu nyingi common with heads of government meeting so m7 ni wa kiwango cha juu sana in terms of politics we might some people talk about him matters of democracy kwao kuna watu wanachapwa viboko sana ambao labda watu wachapwi kwingine but don't and uh, m7 is the most intelligent president in africa right now as we speak and the person who is now challenging him ni kijana kutoka hapa sugoi tu Sugoi PO private bag where Sugoi William Samuel Ruto. Mwerevu sana, mwerevu sana, mwerevu sana. Yes. Hapo nyuma kuna kuna wale walikuwa nasema kwa Mseveni anasaidia Ruto kwa campaign. Na hata alikuwa tayari kukuambia kijana yake atoe majeshi kuleta vita Kenya. Wewe unaona hiyo ni propaganda ama ni kweli? No, yeah, vyama, vyama angalia colors. Yeah. A, 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 NRM ya Uganda kala yake ni ni yellow. Yeah ya UDA ni yellow CCM Tanzania ni yellow so utaelewa nini kilikuwa kinafanyika mambo yafanyikangi tu hapana lazima ungangalie colors you must look at the colors you must look at the symbols hii dunia inaraniwa na vitu za symbols colors na vitu kama hizo ulisikia kuna ndugu yetu mmoja hapa alisema yeye ni member wa wa Freemason dunia inaraniwa na hao watu bendera yetu ukiangalia hiyo coat of arms ni mikuki miwili na ina shield ukiangalia ni nyota ambayo ni very important kwa society of freemasons the crown ya uganda ukiangalia vile imekaa hiyo hiyo kitu yake juu ina maana yake tanzania the same hizo pembe za huyo mnyama wao kuna mambo So, hii vitu je, nchi ijengwe tu. 
Na sasa watu wana wana operate underground. Wanasaidiana. Wale watu wenye wana ideologies sawa. If you have similar ideologies, there is nothing wrong with you helping one another. After all, M7 is not an enemy of this country. Uganda is Kenya's largest foreign market. So if at all he had a hand in the coming in of uh, President William Samuel Ruto, it was for the good, not for evil. Uh, and support Raila, the same. He, I don't know how to do it, but support Raila would have been a bit tricky. Eh, because he would have supported him. And he would have supported him. He would have supported him. He would have supported him. Alizima simu, jua neza kukuwacha kwa mata. Na akupeleke heg na kuwacha kwa mata. That is how he does his things. So leo kwa pita pita zango, nimepita pali Twitter, nikaona Edwin Sifuna kisema kwa freedom ya ruto ilikuwa in a favor. Say, like, hiyo freedom inye ilifa ikuje, in a favor sana watu wa ruto. Noona aje hiyo. No, freedom imekujia kila mtu. Hata mimi, kitambo si kuwa na vizi nguo na niona hivi. Ndi kuwa na vama magwanda ya vita, na atuendi vita. Magwanda na boots nzito. Zili, u, nilikuwa, u, yani kwa mwili nimebeba karibu kilo tano. Na mwenye sijakula, sijakula, nimebeba kilo tano. Tunenda vita za ODM. Saizi sasa hata ukiona watu, wanafuraa, wako huru. All of them. Nani watu wa vyama vyote? They are free now. Kwa sababu gani? William Samuel Ruto, ameruhusu hata watu waneza kuja hapa, wakuja wapange maandamano. Na na kuachilia unapanga maandamano yako watu walikuwa nadhani kwamba hata panga watu walitoka hapa siku nyingine wakatembea kwa hii barabara juzi Eh hey! Raila Molo Odinga alikuja akatembea hivi na hakuna mtu anamguza hakuna tia gas wakati ule mwingine tulikuwa tunaendanga maandamano pale anniversary before afike hivi ile matia gas mmechapa ndio aingie tena ile mnapigwa lakini saa hizi anakuachilia unafanya mvituko zako unakaa kwa rami unafanya nini unaweza kujolea hata flowers and then you go home to your wife you go to your wife's breast. Eh? Rudia, you are by wife's breast and sleep till morning. Wakati wa uhuru, you know uhuru had very soft, dangerous power. Unge yona, unai feel, umai, umai, umai sikia unyevu, 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 unyevu. He had, una feel to jot, uhuru, usicheze, usicheze, what will feel? Nini yake, uliza miguna liata kuambia. He had said he's not boarding. He boarded. He boarded. Now you will not see him when you will never see his hands. Lakini ile kufinywa unafinywa. Hata sisi tulikuanga, that's why tulikuwa tunaona kila wakati tuko tayari kwa vita tumevaa magwanda because you don't know mtakutana na uhuru sangapi. So what I can only tell you is that Ruto ameletea kila mtu freedom. William Samoei Ruto ameletea kila mtu freedom and we are telling people to be free. Wale mnataka kuzaa za watoto wote wenye wako kwa tumbo waishe wale wanataka kukula kula kila kitu yenye unataka because Ruto hana maneno na mtu you do your thing he does his huko mwana ukiona ule mtu mwenye ananyima watu pesa jua huyo mtu hata freedom size wapatia lakini anatoa pesa ATM ya mahasila wallet ya mapasta anatoa pesa mtu kama huyo hawezi chukua freedom za watu yes hapo wale wamesema kwa Yesu ya Bomas uhuru alifunga simu. Yes. So unaamini kwa uhuru alicheza Raila. Uhuru hakucheza Raila. There was a game within the game. There was a game within the game. The first game was that waingie Bomas wavuruge hiyo system. Na unajua wanavuruga Muluya? Chebukati. Chebukati. Chebukati Muluya. Wanavuruga Muluya, Chebukati. First thing was Vuruga Bomas muta sitangazwe. Who was going to be the beneficiary? Uhuru. Why? Kukiwa na chaos muta jatangazwa. He can declare a state of emergency. Na endele kutawala nchi. So Raila likuwa na dhani anasaidiwa. Lakini uhuru angendele, anged create a state of emergency. A suspend constitution. Na endele kutawala mpaka mujipange. That is why alikuwa anatembea kwa mikutano huko anasema kwani mimi nasema mwingine anasema ninaenda kwani ninaenda wapi si mimi niko tu hapa alikuwa anajua kila napanga but then there is number two. we need to understand alisaidia Raila but nilikwambia baba anafikanga kwa goal posts anapata goal posts imengolewa mara hii alifika kwa goal posts akapata kona mpira lakini imetolewa hewa akaambiwa haya sasa piga bao ingiza hapo ndani Eh? So unamsaidianga paka unafikisha unamzukuma paka 
Hakuna waka... 2017 tulimzukuma tukamwambia baba state house ndio hii. Simemaliza kuapisha. Akasema ndio. Akasema state house ndio hii. Akasema hiyo ni yenu, hiyo ni yenu. Ya kaenda wapi? Kare. Na hapo ndio nilijua huyu. And that is why ulikuwa anasikia kila wakati Ruto akisema I may not know who will become president, but at least I know who will never become president. Kwa nini? Unamsukumanga paka mwisho. Uhuru alijua hii kitu kama watu wanaturecord hizi calls. Tunapanga mambo ya kwenda kuvuruga bombers. If someone is recording our calls, utapelekwa Hague. Raila mwenyewe amesema nini juzi? Ati nini kilimzuia kwenda nini? ICC. Atangevuruga lakini alirealize kuna walikuwa wanafuatwa kuna mahali Kenya ilikuwa na ICC kushinda hapa. Ni wakati hii election. So yeye mwenyewe anajua hilo. So alijaribu kumsukuma root uhuru initially alikuwa na mwenjoy. Initially unaona pale makwanza ya kwanza kwanza bidi wakienda BBI. Hiyo naye alikuwa na mwenjoy. Kwa sababu alienda boma akaambia 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 watu wakiwa bomas paka Ruto akiwa akasema Ruto wewe kabla sijaenda handshake nilikwambia kabla sijaenda BBI nilikwambia paka Rila kashtuka hii kwa nini watu wanakutananga hapa alikuwa na mwenjoi lakini alifika mahali akaria na kumbe Ruto yuko serious anataka kuchukua hii kitu eh hey, aligeuka uhuru alikuwa hataki kwenda alikuwa anaona wao minister wote kama ni watoto wake alikuwa anaona paka wabunge wakikuwa anawaambia nyinyi wote mko hapa juu yangu Atiende alifanya wakakuwa OMPs. Wale wa Jubili. So hakuwa anataka kwenda. So what I can tell you for free mara ya kwanza alikuwa na enjoy Raila lakini huku mwisho mwisho alianza kumsupport. Alikini alikuwa na msupport pia na ka, another ka proviso. Anajua ikiwa kutenda vubaya just in case of kuana atia. Ni yeye anaenda kuchukua hii kitu. Ataendelea kubaki nayo. Na unajua before they swear in another president. Huyo mwenye huyo incumbent ndio president. Aneza declare state of emergency. Aneza declare state of emergency. So those were the games. It was a quandary. It was a complex thing. Na kuambia ukisikia Ruto kila wakati na kuambia ni Mungu. Ni Mungu. Hii kitu haikuwa rais. Na Mr. Narem kuna wale wanasema kuwa president anamuliwa na some embassies na na, na some states mm. na the late Queen Elizabeth. Huyu mm. nizawaambia ni Ukweli wa mambo ni huu. Tusidanganyane. Tusidanganyane. Kama Amerika inasemekana Trump aliingizwa na Russia. Kenya inatoshana na Amerika uchumi. Kijeshi, kimasomo, kichochote. Kama Amerika mtu anaingizwa, itakuwa hapa. Itakuwa hapa. Hapa lazima umupangwe. Mupangwe. Si mnapangwa Eh, hey, lazima mupangwe. Kwa sababu lazima mupangwe. E, lazima watu wakuja hapa kwa sababu hizi vitu zote technology yote tunatumia hii ni yao hata ile mpaka unapigia kura ya sava ni yao na ule mwenye wanapenda ni huyo wataweka kwa nini wanaangalia vitu nyingi sana ukiona unakuita hizo kinanga Chatham House wanakuanga wamekuja kupima your psychometric analysis ya vitu wanakuuliza maswali you think they are idiots no they want to know agenda yenye because the world is now moving in another direction Nikikwambia kama hizo vitu za kuweka East Africa pamoja, West Africa pia wanataka ikuwe pamoja, Southern Africa ikuwe pamoja. Unasikia hizo vitu zinaitwa SADC. They want to build the world into one thing. So ndugu yangu, hizo nchi lazima zi, because there are a lot of interests. Mimi labda the only thing mimi na wewe na wakenya wengine tuko nani, hizi lengo tumevaa kwa mwili. But those people own almost everything here. Kenya, I want to repeat, Kenya started as British East African Company. Ni company, company inakuanga na kila nani? Directors, managers, inakuanga na customers, inakuanga na unaona? It's British East African company. Shareholders wako, stakeholders. So ni company, na utakuja umanage tu company ya mtu vile wewe unataka tu. Hapana, hata masomo ni yao. That is why nakuambia ukue na degree. Ya nini? Ya kujifunza vitu zao. Unaweza ziarticulate aje? Au kwambie angi ukwe na masomo ya kitamaduni. Unajua mimi ni mtu wa dini ya kitamaduni. Mimi ni mtu wa dini ya kitamaduni. Hata unaona hii mikufu nimevaa. Mimi ni mtu wa dini ya kitamaduni. But I can tell you for free. Hawataki hii kitamaduni. Wanataka yao. Degree. PhD. You get the point? Eh, so that you can reason. So that you can reason like them. Ndugu yangu Inchi lazima ipangwe. Mambo mengi nafanyikanga hapa. Si hata ndio wanakuambia kunaenda kuwa na terrorist attack. Before NIS ijue, 
Hawa kuna information. Sasa wewe kama dai hadwa Ruto unaamini kuwa si si kura iliingiza Ruto ni U, lazima state. lazima ushinde kwanza ndio pia usaidike. Unajua hata Mungu anasaidia anga ule anajisaidia. Hata Mungu anasaidia ule anajisaidia. So lazima ukua na kura kwanza. Kwanza Ruto alikuwa na kura. Na mimi nakwambia haikuwa hiyo maji ya 2 million. Ya yeah, 200,000. It must have been bigger than your 200,000. Lakini kwa sababu hakuwa na agents mali pengine kama Kisumu na wapi watu wale wali mpigia hatuwezi jua ilikuwa kura ngapi. Lakini alikuwa na kura kwanza and then sasa wakuje waamue. Au kuona wa ambassadors walikuwa all over. Kama wale wa America Meg Whitman alisema I want to see a smooth transition. Na unajua akikwambia smooth transition wao unaona ni mchezo anacheza. Unakuanga umefinywa sehemu nyeti na makucha ya makali ya ajabu. Na nakwambia na cheka tu na smooth transition. <laughs> smooth transition. Unadhani ni mchezo. Unakuanga umefinywa mahali wale wenye wako huko juu. Kiona kina uhuru anazima simu. Wanajua. Na unajua nakupelekanga hegi kwanza ujua uzito wao. Umesomea huko kwanza kama uhuru alisomea Amherst ujua uzito wao. Then sasa wanakuambia we want a smooth transition. Na wamekuguza mahali mala nyeti so ndugu yangu hizi vitu unaingizwanga lakini lazima pia kwa sababu uwezi kataa kuingizwa kama wameenda 100 million kilometers kwa mass ingekuwa kuja hapa Nairobi kuweka ule wanataka ati wao unaweza kata nesikia vitu hata watu wengine wanaongea huko atunataka ati vitu ati BBI ati wanataka kurudisha tena unaona hizi watu wanazunguka zunguka huko you get it from me kuna watu Atu wanajiona wako nje ya serikali sasa atu wanataka kuleta bro walikuwa na 13 copies peke yake za BBI zenye zilikuwa original wakati walipeleka kwa counties enda uliza lawyer wa nini alicomplain hilo lawyer wa ODM alicomplain akasema alikaandikia at government printer government printer aende angalie what exactly was happening ni nani alitampa na hizo copies there was an anomaly 13 kwa nini? 13 ndio the original count, count, uh, uh, states zenye zilianzisha United States of America. So in short, mwa America alikuwa anakuambia katiba yao yenye iko Kenya huwezi ibadilisha. Wewe ubadilishe katiba utoke tu hapa ati hapa nyinyi msijui mnacheza nao wanaume. Hao wanaume wanaenda wanaenda Abbottabad, Pakistan, second floor. Next to a barracks wanachukua Osama na wana muziki baharini wanakuja hapa wanatafuta Saddam Hussein wanampata kwa manhole amejificha kwa hizi mahole za nini wanamtoa hapo kama panya ati nyinyi niliona wewe wana nilikuwa nakataza watu niwaambia watu wewe nyinyi hawa hawa hata ujijui nguo umevaa paka zao wangekuwa mnavaa ngozi ningekuwa naelewa lakini hata nguo ni zao saa ni yao simu ni yao which means wakitaka kukusikiza wanakusikiza kila kitu Atu wao badilishe BBI. I was laughing nikasema nyinyi mnacheza. So they can do whatever they want. Any time they want and how they want. For now. For, uh, for as long as Africa itakuwa united, tusipokuwa organized. Na tuanze kutafuta masomo ya maana. Sio sio CBC. CBC unajua ni competence best. Wakikwambia tu your competence. Competence ni yani degree talent uko nayo. Abilities zako. Ni inaweza kuwa ni kupiga tu randa. Eh, wanatafuta tu wakiona waluya wana misuli misuli wanasema walete randa nyingi kutoka China mupige randa tu wakikuona unaweza una unakaa una aje wanakulazimisha tu we utafanya mambo ya beauty na sasa kama wewe hivi wangekuangalia tu wanakuwa competence yako wewe ni ya beauty ufanye mambo ya beauty beauty nini unaona vitu kama hizo eh wende kwa nyange catwalk unatembea kwa catwalk hivi competence best na kumbe you are a very good media person Tuzienda huko CBC tutafute masomo yenye atatutoa kwa hii giza. Unless and until mu Afrika toke kwa giza. My friend mtakuwa mnawekewa presidents kutoka Cape paka Cairo. Na sio tu hapa, hata paka Haiti in the Latin America. Hizo ma South America countries North pale popote penye mu Afrika yuko. Ametawaliwa paka Brazil. Paka Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. Wa Afrika they are the one suffering in the favelas. Black people. So my brother mtapangiwa presidents. 
na upende uzipende mtapangiwa president kwa sababu mjajipanga hata nikiwaangalia mjajipanga kwa nini nilikuwa nakuja hapa nasikia ndugu zetu pale ODM wanaongea vile Raila naingia mimi nawaangalia paka nashangaa kabisa kabisa atuna tuna deep can you imagine paka government officers senior government officers wanachukua mirengo wanaanza kupiga ruto which means hata intelligence ya nchi haikuwa inajua nani anaenda kuwa president juu kama hao ndio wako kwa security na wanapinga mwenye anaenda kuwa president na maana kwamba hiyo security yao haikuwa inawapatia intelligence ya kuambia nani anaenda kuwa president which means intelligence haikujua you are caught and where pants down and wrapped even ndio vile ilifanyika and that is how they always do their things to show who is boss in town labda labda tukimalizia yes. kuna wale kuna wale walikuwa na complain kuwa watu wa Kenya kwanza kesi zao zinakuwa with drone kama wakina Waititu wakina Aisha Jumwa na na, na wazimio nao sasa zile zilikuwa zimetolewa zinarudishwa unaweza kuambia nini hao ukijipanga uta, usipojipanga utapangwa unajua hiyo ndio shida unaona hata uko kotini uko kotini siliona kesi ya Ruto na Uhuru Heg kuna jinsi watu walipanga na namna hiyo wakapanga namna hiyo wakapanga namna hiyo kotini inakuanga ni evidence na hiyo evidence that evidence also has other issues you should know those judges who are going to work based on the evidence that is adduced uh ile akina waititu the truth is this people had stolen money from this country tuambiane ukweli kama mwenenda kutafuta wezi ingekuwa ni wizi ya kutafuta watu overboard and you know the most corrupt family mnalijua zile zilianzisha independence 1963 they are the most corrupt families kama mlikuwa mnaenda ku fight corruption sio kutafuta rigade sio kutafuta waititu kuna watu wamepora hii nchi hata kikupata we umelala njaa na shitukanga na shangaa ukimwambia tu umelala njaa anakuauliza kwa na huko ana appetite juajui kama kuna mtu kwera anaweza lala njaa ukisikia mtu anaenda kwa tv interview paka anakuambia ati mkate ni 500 bob kwanza haijui kwamba ni pesa ngapi lakini si ati hajui ananunuanga mikate ya 500 mkate mmoja modomwe what am i trying to say kama walikuwa wanataka ku fight corruption wange fight across the board lakini kwanza ku pick watu wa supporters wa Ruto it was very wrong it was justice without a basis actually it was injustice now what am i trying to say kesi as it akwa twizi peke yake Ruto amesema anaenda ku fund police DCI kina nani wote you will see them all over they will be looking for people And I know right now kuna watu hawalali kwa nyumba zao. Wale wameficha pesa kwa mama matres. They are not going to be safe. Ruto is coming for you. Na unajua ni Ruto peke yake na Zakayo kwa Biblia ambayo wamewahi rudishia mtu kile wamechukua. Hao tu peke yake. Zakayo rudishia watu pesa na Ruto naye akarudishia muteshi shamba. Atafika hapo mbele atasema si mimi nilirudisha. Kila mtu afanye nini? Arudisha. Utaona ile mbio itakuwa in Nairobi. So let me tell you this for free. Musi seme ati kuna eh, justice na peano kwa mirengo. Hapana what I know is that uh, kuna watu wa kujipanga. Unajua lawyer wako pia anaweza kukuangusha. Ukikuwa na lawyers kama wale niliona wale kwenye azimio walikuwa nao kotini. Kwa nini usifungwe? Unaleta evidence umeiokota kwa barabara. Unaswea mbele ya a, a, Advocate of the High Court and Commission of Oaths, Othia Uongo. Advocate mwenyewe pia hezi piga piga masima confirm ku corroborate kama hiyo evidence. Ni ya ugweli ama ni ya uongo. So what am I trying to tell you? These lawyers also have a problem. We cannot just blame the judges. The lawyers also have a problem. And by the way, the judges must have passed those sentences based on law. Because the judges are there. Those courts are courts of law. If you want justice, go to church. They try to reach justice using the law. So judge akikupata na evidence yenye ko pale anaenda nayo kulingana na sheria. So what I can tell you my brother is that uh ikitu from the way I look at it uh kuna watu itabidi watajipanga sana. Kuna watu wanaenda kukimbia mbio hata ijaanza. Eh hey, walikuwa wametuchezea sana wametufanyia madharau sana. Watakimbia kuna mbio ziko hapa. Ngoja utaona tu kuna watu walikuwa wamenona unaweza nani amemeza amemeza zebra wanaenda kukonda kama waya ya gita 
tunaenda kubadilishana tuna nafasi eh hao wakidhofika na sisi tunaanza ku kupanda sasa wakae kwa viatu zetu waone vile tuko kwa sababu kuna haja utumie nguvu umepetiwa na mwananchi nguvu alafu unaanza kuzitumia kunyanyasa wananchi wenzako so what i can tell you for free is that justice is being meted out if there are some injustices they have the right to appeal like honorable waluke he should go to the paka uh, juu supreme court he has the right to appeal they have not taken away his right to appeal but what i can tell you is that wale watu walipora pesa ya nchi wa kenya wako kwa parks i want to repeat that wa kenya wako kwa parks kutoka malaba mpaka mombasa public beach enda uziangalie public beach wa kenya wamekatwa kwa nini pesa iliporwa 9 trillion mliomba deni ya 9 trillion lakini watu wako kwa parks hiyo pesa ilienda wapi do you know what 9 trillion can do kama ingekuwa inapatiwa hao wananchi kama umeona tu ile subsidy yenye ruto ameweka peana tu kidogo hivi unaona vile wakulima huko nyumbani wameanza kunona wakulima wameanza kunona subsidy tu kadogo tu what about angekuwa amewapatia 9 trillion so ndugu yangu pesa iliporwa imepelekwa nchi inaitwa unaona jamii nini uh, Cuba wameka huko paka statue ya Kenyatta statue inaekwa tu bure ah ah kuna kitu alipeleka ndio statue yake ikawekwa Havana ke statue yake unajua hujui kwa mnaona tu ile iko pale KICC kuna statue Havana ya Kenyatta go and confirm pesa ya mkenya iko huko ndugu zangu pesa iliporwa hapa unakumbuka huko kwenye wasichana na tezanga na ka, kuna kanda ya kingine kanaitwa tongs tongs tong ka, 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 kauzi kamoja hivi <laughs> eh kan, hiyo inchi inaitwa babedos babedos wanachezanga wana, wana na wana dancing na ka, 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 ka kasiruali kana uzi moja tu imepita hivi huko alienda huko alienda huko paka wakampatia the highest award ya hiyo inchi ilikuwa tu ni kwenda tu kutembea tu akaenda Jamaica and by the way who goes to Jamaica those Jamaicans must come to Africa we don't need to go to Jamaica those are people who are sold as slaves why should you go to Jamaica alikuwa anaenda kuficha nini huko so sisi tunapatia William Ruto president hints yenye pesa aenda atafute tunampatia leads guza hapa guza hapa guza hapa hao watu watoke kwa parks you cannot keep your citizens in parks hiyo barabara twendi we are not boarding so kama uliona majuzi hivi Rigathi Gachagua alisema kuwa wana, wanarudisha uchumi penye penye kibaki aliwachia mm. wewe maoni yako ni gani oh Rigathi is a Rigathi is a wonderful man if there is a man who has remained focused ulimuzikia vile aliongea kasarani niliona kumbe huyo bado unajua kuna mtu unaweza pata hiyo power alafu aanze kuingia kwa akili waanze kusahau kwa sababu umeona wageni wako hapo yeye yeah, hakujali wageni akaanza ku deal na watu so regarda kikwambia wanaenda kuweka nchi penye kibaki aliwacha let me tell you it's not going to be an easy ride that one we know because people have stolen money na wanaanza kututishia tishia huku vile mafuta inaenda kupanda bei Unajua ndio walipora pesa, mtu anapora pesa, anaanzisha kampuni ya mafuta, alafu anaingiza na pesa yenu, alafu anakuambia vile mafuta inaenda kupanda bei. Tumewaambia tunaenda kutembea mguu by the way. Eh. Hey, ukisema mafuta ipande bei, tuna rally Kenyans tunawaambia tembeeni mguu. Go to work on foot. Hiyo magari ikae kwa yards, tuone penye mafuta itaenda. Ukituambia unataka kupandisha maziwa, tunapeka weka pesa KICC. Hiyo kampuni yako ianguke. Atuwezi endelea kubembeleza wanaume. Unabembeleza mwanamke mwenye atakuzalia. Lakini mwanamke bro, mimi nakueleza hivi. Hao wanaume tunaenda ku deal nao. Hizi makatel. Now listen. Economy lazima irudi. William Ruto has no options. Rigathi Gachagua is deputy, they have no options. Economy lazima i take off. Kibaki alikuwa ameacha hii nchi kwa take off ilikuwa middle income economy ya ukweli wachana middle income economy unajua middle income economy lazima ukua unaweza kuwa una feel hiyo pesa mtu asikwambie tu we are now a middle income economy and ukijangalia kwa mifuko you don't see the money yeye yeah, tu ndio unaona tu amenona unaweza ah huyu ndio akokuwa middle income sisi wengine atuoni middle income so kibaki alikuwa ameacha inchi penye ruto angekuwa ama hata huyu huyu Raila tu unajua ingawa Raila wa huko wakati huo na Raila wa saizi ni Raila tofauti tu wawili wakipatana unaweza pigana hata wakauana Raila angeichukua 2013 hii nchi ingeenda ikashinda South Africa William Samoei Ruto huyu 
vile ako soba hivi angechukua 2013 hii pale kibaki aliachia wewe uko na kibaki alikuwa anaheshimu Ruto he is the only man mwenye aliyepanda Land Rover president hiyo bia Milton ali Ruto alipanda na kibaki hivi na akaambia watu kwa mkutano huku chungeni huyu kijana so which means angekuwa ni yeye ange take off angechukua economy ingekuwa mahali pengine tofauti sana alikuwa jengi jengi hizi vitu hazina mpango mtu anaenda anachukua pesa yetu anapeleka train suswa kwenda kuangalia smiling hyenas na wakenya wajakula kwa hizi slums so ndugu yangu what i can tell you for free is this and i want you to get me the economy must take off it is in a very dire state watoto watu wanapeleka mtoto shuleni na alafu wanabadilisha badilisha vitabu kila mwezi kila mwezi kitabu ni mpya Yaani nimekuwa ni biashara na kulia mzazi. Huku rent ya watu inangojwa. Huku kila kitu it's chaos. Transport is chaos, everything is in chaos. So what I can tell you for free is that we can organize ourselves better and let President William Samoe Ruto think about how to translate hiki kitu so that we see middle income kwa mifuko yetu. Hata mtu akikuangalia hivi ajue you are from a middle income economy. Sio wazungu wakikuja hapa wenye kwa advance kasi una maona tu vile wamekaa you can see huyu ametoka de- a developed country zile vitu anafanya hana haraka hana wasiwasi sisi huku hata tia gazi kitokea hapa kidogo watu watavunjana watu wana wasiwasi watu wana wasiwasi mpaka unamshangaa ni nini hata kitu kijitokeza pale kidogo unaona kila mtu mzungu akiwa hapa kitu kijitokeza ame relax tu kwa sababu ana wasiwasi wewe una wasiwasi kwa nini? Hauna NHIF. Sasa hatari kikupatia hapa hata ukienda hospitalini nani atakulipia? Hauna NSSF. Kama ni majeraha ile ya kabisa kabisa naenda kukutoa hapa watoto wako watalipi utachungwa na nani? Sasa lazima ukira mtu akuwe na wasiwasi. Kitu kitokea kidogo tia gasi nini? Taya hata ikilipuka tu hapa tire bust. Mbio! Mnatoroka town. Tire bust. Kwa nini mna wasiwasi juu ya umaskini? So ndugu yangu William Samuel Ruto tunamtakia mema na namuona kwa very stable right now atubadilishia kaka uchumi so that things can move can move on better labda before tumalizie unadhambia wa Kenya nini labda jambo moja mawili ile tu kitu tunataka kuambia wa Kenya ni kwamba wajiepushe na matapeli kuna watu wanataka kuanza ku organize demonstrations za kitapeli za kuanza kuhujumu serikali serikali ambayo haijamaliza hata 3 weeks wanailaumu na everything. Nimeona hata statements zingine zimetolewa sijui na N sijui nini nini. At the economy at, right now is in a very bad state compared to the same quarter. Who is behind that? Nana me, who has caused that? So what I can tell you is that wa Kenya wajiepushe na matapeli wa relax. The pilot right now is sober. Ndege is in very safe hands. The co-pilot is also sober. The only thing tu tunawaomba president na deputy wake waruhusu pia walevi kwa sababu naona maombi imekuwa mengi pia waruhusu walevi wanaweza ingia state house eh? wanakunywa moja mbili wanakunywa moja mbili then wana sherehekea kwa sababu state house ni yao ni yao so wa Kenya wa relax enjoy your lives enjoy your lives and then enjoy yourselves and apart from that let them avoid unnecessary demonstrations because kuna demonstrations zingine ukiziangalia they don't make sense You cannot blame someone for an economic collapse yenye wao ulikuwa ndani. Handshake ndio ilitutetea hii mambo yote. Raila Molo Dinga ngebaki opposition. Atungekuwa na hizi chaos. He would have checked that regime. But because he went in there, alikuwa amekusema wameenda ku eh kumbwa alikuwa ameenda kukunywa maziwa pamoja. So what I can tell you is that Kenyans should avoid that and they should sit relax because we are going to take charge of this country. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, please. May God bless you. Thank you very much.